Hello, welcome back to the channel. I realized after watching lots of footage that I absolutely hate my voice. Bet you do too. But anyways, time to get ready to paint a car. Yay. <laughs> I've got this really cool little camera that I got, little GoPro looking thing, and I got tons of footage, and uh, none of it will show up on my computer. So, I've already done a lot, and I'm just going to give you guys a really quick video on prep and what it takes to get a car ready for paint. So, it's not just super easy if you want a lasting paint job. To just shoot it you got to do some work so uh, what I've been doing oh yeah you guys haven't seen all the commotion my little $50 compressor yeah that took a shit so I uh, started out with my air uh, air DA and um, halfway through the compressor took a shit so now I'm working with that but you know what that works just as well and uh, it's not nearly as noisy so using 220 grit going over all the surfaces make sure that everything's nice and sanded um, still got a lot to do um, thinking about taking this uh, rear wing whatever the hell spoiler whatever it is taking that off I think that's gonna be fairly easy I'm going to be taking the taillights out. I'm going to be taking the headlights out. Um, it's a T-top car. So, when you've got T-tops, you also have that area right there. So, if I don't want my car to look dumb as shit going down the road, I need to take those out, sand that up, paint that, if I'm gonna do that, might as well do the door jams. So this will be my most complete paint job ever. And you guys get to watch it. So I'm gonna be painting the insides of the doors. I'm taking this uh, uh, door panel off, the other door panel obviously. I'm taking the mirrors off, um, cause I want this to be a really nice paint job. It's my own personal ride and I've got a week to get everything done. So I'm gonna take my time, do it right. And, um, you know, hope, hopefully we'll get some good results. This is the paint I will be using. It's a cherry red made by Rust-Oleum. I'm gonna do it cherry red and uh, we've got some gloss black Rust-Oleum. We're gonna do some gloss black stripes down it. So uh, some SS striping on here on a base model six cylinder. Um, I'm going to be pulling the headlights out. Uh, I'm going to be taking and uh, sanding everything down. This is going to go black uh, like the old school, uh, like your third, like the third gens did. I, I always like that look. Uh, I had some footage of this. This is where the original antenna went. Um, Windstorm, short story, long story short. Windstorm, bam, tonneau cover from Buddy's truck, knocked my antenna off, broke it, dented it. Still got a little bit of uh, sanding to do here. Got a little bit more Bondo to put on there. Um, just doing away with that antenna. I'm gonna order a antenna off of Amazon uh, that'll go on the windshield. Nice, clean look. I've got some rust to take care of. Um, some, I gotta pop a hole, well I put some uh, stuff, some fiberglass down in there already. Still got some sanding to do down there. Some Bondo to put over that. And over here, I've got just a mess. So that's gonna take some time. I'm not gonna bore you with all that. Just giving you a quick preview of what to look forward to uh, later on in the week because I'm going to show you how 
I paint a car. Um, like I said, I'm going to do the door jams, going to do everything, uh, just do it as detailed as possible. I'm not going to keep boring you with all this crap, but uh, definitely want to make sure that if you got any rock chips, which I had, I had some rock chips on the hood because you get those, uh, sand those down real well, uh, feather them in, throw some primer on them because it gets all the way down to the bare metal need to throw some more primer on that um, sand it down again it's just prep 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 is I think a good 80% of your paint job I mean if you don't know how to spray it's gonna look like shit anyways so you can prep all you want and uh, it's gonna look like crap but I like to make sure that everything's as good as possible generally I only have a few days to do a paint job and I've actually got a week so uh, I'm kind of looking forward to doing a nice complete job and hoping that it turns out well but you'll see if I fuck it up <laughs> I guess you know it happens it has happened before but uh, yeah catfish Camaro it's an 01 v6 this will be one of my shorter videos uh, just showing you that it does take time takes time 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 and if you want to do it right uh you got to spend some time so i'm going to get these mirrors off get the door panels off uh finish some sanding um this is going to be about the end of this video because uh it's just going to be me sanding and nobody wants to watch that so when my next video comes out i will show you the end result of all of my prep I probably will have, uh, I may do a video on the door jams and I think I will. I'll do a video. My next video will be a video on doing the door jams because I've never done that before. Um, and, you know, the T-top area, the trunk area. So that'll be, I'll get all that done first. So once I spray the outside, it'll all be ready to go and look good. So, this will be a three-part series. First part is prep, and uh, this is it. So, next part will be the door jams and the T-tops. So, peace out. One more thing, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, leave some comments, good or bad. I'm, I'm a big boy, I can take it. I know... I don't do everything the right way. I know my body works probably, eh. but you know what? It's my car. And, uh, but if I can do something better, I definitely want to know how to do it better. Never been trained in any of this stuff. It's just all self-taught. So um, I do the best that I can with what I've got. I do everything on a, on a really strict budget. Um, and that's just because I don't have that kind of money. I want to have something that looks nice, but I don't have the money to go take it to a custom paint shop or even Mako for that matter. You know, I know I could go get a Mako paint job for 300 bucks, but the door jams won't be done. They charge you 50 bucks a piece for the door jams. So then that turns it into $400. It's done just a single color. Um, that's not, that's not exciting to me. I already had a single color on the car. It's not what I want. So I'll do, um, I'll do stuff differently than maybe some other people, but uh, I'll do it on a budget. I'm getting ready to put a car stereo in. Uh, so that's that'll be coming up this week. Uh, it's the uh, cheap, 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 $20, $20, world's smallest box, but Bluetooth, 200 watts, um, dual, car stereo and it's brand new so i'll have a new stereo in the car for less than 50 bucks with the mounting and all that kind of stuff and uh i'll show you how that works out so everything i do is on a budget man i just don't have the kind of money to put uh put a big quality paint job on it so it'll look good from a distance if you get up close to it and eh, we'll see hopefully it looks good up close too but thanks again uh, i'm getting long-winded again so please, if you're new here, please, please, please consider subscribing. Hit the little bell icon. 
it's going to be a busy week for me. Uh, I got paint. I've already gone through everything that I'm doing this week, so I'll probably have another three videos uploaded this week, uh, hopefully. Um, I've got a, a job that I did for somebody the other day. I detailed their uh, truck and uh, got some scratches out and uh, used some of this uh, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. Um, so dirt cheap stuff. Try to get the best results that I can out of it. And uh, hopefully you can learn something or learn what not to do. But uh, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. See you next time.